This is a situation that some of my colleagues enjoy considering. If a woman has the karmic prerequisites to choose an alcoholic husband, she will clearly choose a real or potential alcoholic among a hundred other men. What should we do in such a situation? Do we need to change our mindset? You should look at the two factors, a personal experience that shaped you and an experience of your parental family. If we see that alcoholism in the parental family was a kind of red line, meaning that a woman must stay with an alcoholic husband because that is the only way she can rise spiritually, for example, and that is her quirk, then most likely that is exactly the parental family pattern, and she is relying on that pattern. If this is about her personal experience, we need to look at where, when, and under what circumstances alcoholic men have been more merciful and supportive to her than those who are not affected by this problem. We all seek for what is better, the best fish stay near the bottom. And man too is looking for a better place. And so the motivation of a woman who makes such a choice may be incomprehensible even to herself. For example, a woman may agree to live with an alcoholic who is incapable of doing anything just because he doesn't beat her. Her father used to beat her, and she compares it to this example. Why are you smiling? Situations like that happen all the time. Her always sober father beat her, and this alcoholic man didn't. Or on the contrary, according to the parental program, her father is an alcoholic, as is her husband. And all because her mother taught her from childhood that once you choose a man, you have to live with him and be patient. It is your destiny. Accept it. A person cannot change anything. The reasons can be different. You have to look at the motivation. So a woman who chooses an alcoholic among a hundred other men should be asked the following question. Why did you choose this man? She will give a definite answer, and you can judge her motivation from that. For example, she chose him because he is good-looking. And what does it mean for a woman to have a good-looking husband? It means rising above her friends, walking around town with him, down the street at Easter, showing everyone how good-looking her husband is. Or she chose him because he has kind eyes. It means that she was expecting some kind of sympathy, some kind of support from him in the future. Or, for example, she noticed his pretty smile. It means that she can be with him without worrying about her own future and that of her children. Why does a person make such a choice? She makes a choice solely on the basis of something that is important, something that is important to her. It is the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter that he is an alcoholic. It is important that he is kind. It doesn't matter how much money he's going to drink. It's important to walk down the street with a handsome man. It's all about what's most important to her.